Hello everyone and welcome to a new video. So it's been a while because uh, it has been raining a lot and as you can see we've been very busy. Uh, last weekend we put up our new yurt which arrived a couple days before that. Um, it has been raining a lot so we haven't been able to work outside that much. Um, so in the days that we had some sun um, we put up the yurt. Sadly, it's not finished yet. Um, it was a much bigger job than we had thought. Uh, we had a lot of friends come over and help us with putting it up, um, but it's not finished yet. Um, today is moving day. We're mo moving in some of our stuff. Um, and then in the next couple of days, we'll start to finish everything. So we'll put in windows, as I'll show you, um, and everything else. The yurt videos are going to be a couple different parts so this week i wanted to show you the day that we put up everything uh, and some of the waiting um, so you'll see that shortly and then in the next week uh, we will finish everything and then you can see that next week um, i was also thinking of doing a time lapse of all the video that i've shot uh, during the yurt raising so if you want to see that leave a comment and then i'll make that video as well for now, welcome, and I hope you enjoy. Okay, so these days are really about testing my patience because it's Monday right now. We were planning to put up the year today. We got all our friends together, everything, but now it's way too windy. I think you can probably hear the wind. It's quite strong. It started yesterday. And it's kind of the tail end of a storm that's going over Spain right now. And since we're close to the border with Spain, we can feel it here as well. It's, it's northern wind, so it's actually really cold as well. Um, but to put up a yurt, which is basically a tent, in super windy weather is just not a great idea. So we have everything together. Um, the yurt actually arrived on Wednesday last week. Uh, and then it was raining for a couple days. We put it in the greenhouse uh, under a tarp. Uh, so it's all safe and dry. And we put some extra like logs and stones on the frame so that it won't blow away. So it's safe. Um, but now we just have to wait. After this wind, these uh, couple windy days we actually have some more rain coming and um, so it will be until next weekend that we can set up the yurt but yeah you can't control the weather winter can be quite stormy can be wet and we're getting all these things this winter so that's good and bad I don't know it just is you have to surrender yourself to nature and just go with the flow so this week we try to keep ourselves busy I think we're going to the pool one day we're gonna do some socializing just so that we're not like stuck inside waiting for our year set up Okay, so it's a couple days later and it's the day before the big day because tomorrow we're putting up our yurt, finally. Um, so it's been here in the greenhouse, as you can see. We put up the frame that we bought and then we put a big tarp over it so everything stayed dry. Uh, tomorrow we have a big uh, group of people coming over and they're all coming to help and some just to look because they're interested to see how it goes. Um, so we have a big long day of work ahead of us it should be done in a couple hours uh, but we first have to lay down the osb as well and we have to carry all the all the stuff up the hill because our car uh, doesn't get up because it's too steep so what we're gonna do now uh, this afternoon is we're gonna first of all carry all the osb up the hill uh, just so that it's done uh, before everyone gets here tomorrow and then tomorrow we can lay down the insulation and the OSB be really quickly uh, and get the yurt up.
So this is what the yurt looks like today. As you can see, we put tarps over the top, um, and that's mostly to keep out the the rain from uh, from the crown because um, we haven't been able to put in the windows into the crown. The crown is the top, and then. Uh, tomorrow or the day after we're gonna do that and then uh, next week we can finish uh, putting over the rest of the covers so the decoration cover um, yeah so as you can see we cut away all the OSB that was sticking out that was fairly easy to do and then here as well on the bottom we made a ring of plywood and then on the other side of that there's the filt and then we put the rain cover over it so that it's all nice and tidy and I'll show you the inside it's a bit of a building site at the moment so we had to put in the bed because that doesn't fit through the door and our friends helped carry the stove because it's quite heavy so today is moving moving day this morning I'm editing this video and then after we're gonna get all the get a little kitchen counter and all our clothing and bedding and things and then we can move in and finish everything. Oh yeah, so the window broke during transport, but just one of the two pieces of glass, so that's fine. And then we're just waiting again for the rain to finish, as always. But next week should be good. So that's my video for this week. I hope you enjoyed. As I said in the beginning, there will be some more videos on putting up this yurt uh, in the coming weeks. So if you want to see that and you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. If you have any questions, suggestions, leave them in the comments down below. For now, thank you for watching and I'll see you next week. Bye!